everyone, this is Dahi Jung. It's the 11th of October, and welcome to another interesting episode of Korea News Express. Once again, I've brought updates in Korea that you all may be curious about. Shall we take a quick look at the topics before getting into it? Asia's biggest film fest in Busan, Korea. Son Eung Min plays a crucial role in the friendly match at home. K food that captivated the foreign media. Then, let's get through this week's episode of Korea News Express. Here's the first story. Currently, the 27th Busan International Film Festival, the biggest event of its kind in Asia, is being held in Busan. It returned to its full configuration for the first time in three years after being held in a scaled-down format due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This year's festival featured 353 films in total, including screenings of 242 official selections from 71 countries and 111 films screened by the community BIF. According to the American magazine Variety, the festival operated largely normally including a red carpet opening ceremony, meetings between stars and fans, as well as master classes and special talks. Not only that, Screen Daily of the UK shared that the Asian content and film market launched the new Busan Story Market, which allows content providers to conduct transactions directly through their sale booths on any intellectual property. In addition, various international events such as the Busan International Rock Festival and the Busan One Asia Festival are held in Busan. So you can feel the festive atmosphere all day long. As such, Busan has a number of international events, abundant tourism resources, and cultural capabilities. Thus, let's look forward to Busan hosting the 2030 World Expo as well. Let's move on to the next story. In late September, Korea's national soccer team played friendly matches against Costa Rica and Cameroon. In particular, foreign media paid attention to Son Eung Min's wonderful performance. First of all, Son Eung Min's late free kick earned South Korea a 2-2 draw with fellow World Cup qualifiers Costa Rica in a friendly international on September 23rd. On the news, Britain's The Sun quoted Tottenham fans' reactions that Tottenham fans won Son Eung Min to replace Harry Kane on free kicks after his latest incredible strike for South Korea. In addition to this, Daily Express Online of the UK evaluated that Son stepped up and curled an effort so ferocious and precise that it left the goalkeeper rooted to the spot despite flying in at his near post. In the following match, Son Eung Min earned South Korea a 1-0 win over Cameroon. On one hand, Football Channel of Japan evaluated that striker Son's high determination led South Korea to victory. And on the other, Japan's Ultra Soccer reported an article titled Son Eung Min's Outstanding Performance in Two Consecutive Games, South Korea Gains Momentum in the World Cup with Victory Against Cameroon. Son Eung Min returned to his team after the national team's friendly match. We'll look forward to even greater performances in the future. And here's the final update. Let me share stories related to Korean food that various foreign media paid attention to. SBS of Australia focused on the Korean-style sandwich, Gilgori Toast. According to the article, it is a popular sweet and salty egg-fried sandwich, as well as a nostalgic snack reminiscent of childhood home cooking. It added that the toasty's flavor can also be enhanced by adding different kinds of cheese and toppings like mayonnaise. On the other hand, Tasting Table of the U.S. shared Hodugaja, one of the street foods in Korea that are eaten more on chilly winter days. Recently, as the popularity of Hodugaja has grown, so have the varieties of fillings, some of which include cream cheese or custard cream, it added. That's all for this week's Korea News Express. Last October 9 was Hangul Day. It is Korea's national holiday intended to commemorate the invention and proclamation of the Korea writing system. Thanks to the promulgation of Hangul in 1446 by King Sejong, all Korean people, regardless of gender and social class, were able to learn to read, write, and express themselves to the full extent. In recognition of its value, the Hunmin Jeongnam manuscript 
was included in UNESCO's Memory of the World Register in 1997. Feel free to share your favorite Korean word in the comments. Once again, I'm Dahi Jung. Keep it here on Korea News Express.